Welcome back, Tom, to Cinema oh, Rules. Oh, I didn't see you there, Sean. Welcome back. I was just on our uh, Cinema Rules Twitter. Oh, were you? Yeah. Doing uh, what? Apparently today is, uh, when we're filming this, is the anniversary of Rear Window, if you've seen that film. Oh, what, well, Hitchcock. Hitchcock? Yeah. I haven't seen that film. I haven't either, but... We, need, cool. we need to do a Hitchcock uh, playlist <laughs> of some sort. We do. Well, but a director's playlist. I don't know what we've got today or what Sean's got planned for us. I haven't seen this film since I was a kid. Yeah, it's not a kid's film, no. Like, no, no stretch of the imagination, but it's not a kid's film, but I hadn't seen this since I was a kid, and, and I, I remember watching it over and over and over again, and I haven't seen it in, like, over ten years, and I, I'm actually really excited to revisit it. Can I get it. the genre? It's like a thriller, I think. Oh. It's like a, dr yeah, thriller. Okay. I'd say a thriller. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, close your eyes. Right. Open them. Phone booth. Never seen it in my life. Have you not? Literally never seen it. I yeah. mean, I don't... The only thing is, the only reservation I've got is I don't hear anybody talk about this film these days. No, which is... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a lot of thrillers out there like uh, Heat, which is amazing with yeah. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Yeah. Um, Prisoners people talk about. Nightcrawler. I know they're more modern films, but, you know... I haven't don't really come up in conversation with no. film fans. So. You know, you know, um, you know, in films uh, where it builds up and it builds up to this one scene where it's sound design, acting, and presence of the scene is just like gives you goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. There's a moment in this film that I can remember. I can't remember what it is, but I remember there being a scene yeah. where it gives me goosebumps uh, in in this film. And I c uh, I'm looking forward to revisiting to dis rediscover what that scene is because I can't really remember. Yeah. So that's that's what I remember from cool. this film. Yeah, no. I, I, <laughs> it does say though, um, a Blu-ray disc for use only with Blu-ray disc players, Blu-ray disc computer disc drives, and PlayStation Three games consoles, um, which I don't have. So we'll see. We'll see if it works. Yeah, phone booth. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm gonna have to start paying you pretty soon. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Stu, listen, you got a bunch of messages? Listen, I'm already late for a meeting. Hold on. All right. All right. I have no idea what he is or does, but... <laughs> <laughs> He's in public relations. Ah. So he's married. But he takes his ring off right. when he's on the phone. Oh, call him. Oh, this guy just ran the block. Give him the pizza and say you can turn away from it, but you can't make it go away. How's that? They, they got to the boys. They, they always get that idea. They don't want the fucking pizza, right? Just take, oh, take, the pizza. take the pizza. Hey, you'll find out. Eat the pizza yourself, you look like you can use it with me. Oh, what the Look, I, I rescheduled the meeting to see you. But I guess, I guess I can reschedule it back. Are you mad? Don't worry about it. No, I'm not mad. He's... I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> Wrong number, pal. It was a perfectly delicious pizza, and you're certainly going to wish you had accepted it. Oh, naturally, this is part of the same gag, the pizza bit. That was some funny shit. Doesn't have a picture either, though. Coming next as I'm hanging Every out. phone call has had a picture. To know who it is he's oh, speaking yeah. to. So what am I doing now? You're scratching your head. Now you're brushing your hair back. That's not very nice, Stu. He's definitely Ooh. being what? You call me Stu? He knows his name. Alright, well, keep thinking. I'm hanging up. I'll say hi to your wife, Kelly, for you. Talk to you later. <laughs> Stu, do you really think that I'm an actor? I'm not an actor. I have no use for you, Stu, no. I would just like you to tell Kelly the truth about you. Why? Who are you? So, are you going to call Kelly and tell her about Pam? Or do I have to? No! It's not something that you would want to do over the phone, though, is it? Why doesn't he just hang up, walk out, and go see his wife? Stu, if you hang up, I will kill you. That's why. That's why. <laughs> now, what kind of device has a telescopic sight mounted on it? What, you mean like a rifle? A 30 caliber bolt action 700 right. with a carbon one modification. Who did he wrong? <laughs> Come now, Stu, you can feel it. Concentrate. Concentrate. Take a look at me. Look at me feeling anxious. You're doing so much better than the others. Woof! You read about the German porn king shot 10 days ago, didn't you? At 38th and 8th? 
He thought he was an artist and wouldn't admit that he was just a pedophile. Believe me, he had plenty of chances to come clean. He's done this multiple He's a times. Killer, yeah. To make a Serial killer. Do you need help? <laughs> oh. I'd stay in there now. Like, you gonna get killed if he goes in or out? Oh sh! Oh my god! This one counts as a hang-up. Oh, back. yeah. You shot him. Ooh. Shut his ear. Then what are you doing in a phone booth making calls? You want to see it? Hey, hey, hey! Don't reach for that. Hold your foot. Jesus. I don't need to see it. I already know what's there. I got plenty of witnesses over here. No, you don't know what's there. I respect your right to privacy. I've been through there for myself. You know the department they provided it for me. I know it's got good form for. I love these little boxes that come into play as well. Yeah, they are. Show you what's going on in the background. Ask him if his wife got tired of sleeping with him. I, uh... Oh my god. You couldn't satisfy your wife sexually? <laughs> oh my god. Stu, you must think I'm crazy. Yeah, he doesn't hate him personally. He just hates the idea of the type of person he, he is. He hates society more than him. Yeah, yeah. I am telling you to answer that phone. What? Oh, it's not her. Oh, it's him. Don't make me hurt you. It's the guy on the phone ringing him. Yeah, Pat. How can you be so sure? It's you. It's you, you miserable fuck. <laughs> Damn, you got yeah. me. I told him that there was a man who called me. Okay. He's upset if you were talking to other men. Good. Come on, I hope they get him out of this. I hope they save him and get this bad guy. What they can't know is what we do to them in our minds, right? Fuck. Perfect violation. I swear to God, Sean, hey, bro, if this, this ends with him getting shot, <laughs> running out and getting shot by the police, I swear to God. <laughs> I can't remember how it ends if I'm completely honest. It's like a ball of rubber bands. I knew there was something weird about this. You guys keep working on it. Yeah. Now, come to the conclusion that he's obviously being held hostage or threatened. Yep. Yeah. Charlie, I called some woman. Every day. Every day, I, I was attracted to this other woman. I called her and... I wanted to fuck her. And I wanted to sleep with her. I hate this guy so much. Are you lying to me? Now I'm done with this game. I've <laughs> fucking had enough. You can go fuck yourself. Later. <laughs> I'm giving myself a up. You the drugs. No, I don't do it. You, you, you could literally just get shot straight away. I want you to turn around. Interlock your fingers behind your head. Okay? Oh! The red bullet is on her forehead! The red dot! He knows, he knows, he knows. He saw the red dot on her yeah, head. Yeah, he sure, surely he had to. He knows. He, he, pick it up, yeah. I still. Now, you've had your little tantrum, and you said some things in anger that I am willing to forget. Get her back in the car. That's like he's not the fucking part. What in the car? He's not the shooter. Who the fuck is, huh? Go on, come on, as say it. As a he's being held hostage. As a professional, stop yelling like, "Who is the shooter then?" Why don't you lift the plastic ceiling panel and feel around? No. <sighs> now, what if I told you I was just above the theater four floors up? See the pink curtains. There you go, Stuart. Yes. He's not here. Isn't he? he won't be there. Like five minutes. Oh. The motel. Oh I think she could use a new headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stu, you're in a perfect position. How do you figure? You get to choose between them, Pamela or Kelly, or should I choose for you? Ah. Oh. You, take you or them, Kelly or Pam, Kelly or Pam, Kelly or Pam. Come on, Stu. Stop this. Don't say a name. Please don't hurt her. Please don't fucking hurt my wife. This doesn't have to end with me shooting you, but you're leaving me. Oh my god. Get up. Okay, how does this end? Tell me how this ends. He knows. 
People are going to be eating dinner watching you die. No, what do they do? What do they do? He might not even be in New York, but I'm guessing he is because we keep seeing the blue, the red light, didn't we? Yeah. What if it does turn out to be the pizza guy? <laughs> you realized it was just a little black Bible or a cell phone. Don't push me, Stu. He knows. Yeah. And I got my best men working on bringing him down. That's it, the captain gets a bullet. Go on, get out of here. You don't understand, asshole. Get out of here. Go on now. Enough Go. of this sideshow, Stu. Oh. I already told Kelly everything. Everything? No. No more excuses and half truths, Stuart. Is he doing? You look out into those cameras and you bear your soul. What's he done? Come on, Stu. Humble yourself in front of your loved ones and millions of strangers and me. It's do or die time. Why was his gun not loaded? <laughs> this whole time. I take off this ring because it only reminds me of how I failed you. I know. I don't want to give you up. I want to make things better, but it may not be my choice anymore. Oh man, he's so good. Oh, that's so good. Such an amazing monologue. I didn't do it for you. Surely he's done everything he's. Yeah, well, he doesn't care. He, he wants him to die. He always did, didn't he? So he's a nutter. He's a psychopath. Listen, listen, you can hear them right now. They're coming up the stairs. They're coming to get you. And you know why? Because I sent them. Oh, Stuart, you can't stop lying. Why? Why? I can't stop lying. They're coming up the fucking stairs. They're coming to get you. Look around. You look around. Why are you telling him this, these things? If this is true, Stuart, then I have to take someone with me, don't I? And since Kelly is the most important thing to you in your life, I'll take her. Take me. Take me. This is about me. I'm the fucking one you want! Take me! No, the police are gonna shoot him! The police got him. I knew that was gonna happen. He was oh. never there, he was never. Shoot himself. Somebody talk to me. It's too late, Captain. Son of a bitch psycho hurt his coming and slashed his throat with the carpet this night. What's his condition? Critical, he's lost a lot of blood. I slashed his own throat? Oh, is he right? I try not to say yeah, it's a rubber, bu rubber bullet. Oh, from the police. Oh. That was the what he was yeah. loading into the gun. Ah! Oh. A rubber bullet. A lot of things we gotta talk about. I don't wanna talk about what you wanna tell me. I wanna tell you everything. Everything. Thank God. I'm trying to deliver me a pizza 10 minutes before I got What? You hung up, Stu. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. I feel bad about the pizza guy. Oh, yeah, Keith the Sutherland's in this. I yeah. forgot. <laughs> From the start on the DVD. That's who the voice is. So he's taught him a lesson. He was never going to kill him. I couldn't, he said he, I couldn't he, help but see you reunited. Yeah, reunited with Kelly. Let's hope your newfound honesty lasts. Come on, that that is a <laughs> rifle box if you've ever seen one before in your life. So that was 2002's Phone Booth. Was that starring, our starring, that Yeah, starring Colin Farrell. Starring Colin Farrell, Forrest Whitaker, and I forgot that we read <laughs> Kiki Sutherland at the start, but <laughs> yeah. he's obviously the voice the whole time, yeah. and he's uh, at the end as well. God, yeah. he has got a voice to hate. <laughs> like, I haven't watched a film for ages where I've hated, hated the villain and I wanted yeah. him to get his comeuppance. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad. But are you disappointed that he didn't get his to come off of I am. I am disappointed. But I am also absolutely relieved that they didn't... Kill off. Kill off Colin Farrell. Farrell. Or any of his wives. Yeah. I'm so, <laughs> his his partners. I'm so glad that he didn't... Because I thought, oh, I was, for ages I was thinking, oh, he just wants him to die and he's going to get him to kill himself. Yeah. And that's how it's going to end. And I'm, I'm so glad that it didn't end like that. But... Oh, now, man. now this film when when we first, when we started the video, we said that not a lot of people talk about this film, and I don't think there's a good reason for that. After well, rewatching yeah, because... it, it's still as good as I remember yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, like there's loads, this film's got lots going for it. And one thing we said at the end, or you said, is that 
it's a really short film, but it doesn't feel that way because of the editing and yeah. and the action well, sequences we, in the way that they're shot. Yeah, well, that's what what we said. I think I think this film could have been an hour to an hour and forty if it didn't include those boxes within the editing. Um, but obviously, like the two hours. I mean, yeah, it could yeah. Be the, the the obviously the director saw that probably. I don't know if it was his uh, his idea, his uh, artistic vision to have those initially, but maybe uh, he had them in just as a normal film and then was like, this feels, the pacing's yeah. off, this feels awkward, and then created this artistic kind of direction. I haven't seen a, f a film, well, I've, I've seen it been done before, but not from when I was a kid, so it was very cool to see it. It was almost like comic booky uh, when I saw it as a kid. Um, yeah, I think... I think George Schumacher is a good director. I actually do. I just think that he's obviously the Batman films that he's known for. <laughs> he's known for those because of the tone rather than his actual quality as a filmmaker. And obviously Warner yeah. Brothers would have had a massive control over that. Yeah. In this, he's, he does something better. I just like it because it's, even though it's an old film, for me, it's a bit fresh. The plot's different. I was on the edge of my seat and I didn't talk much because I was just like... Well, it was a he heavily... Uh, dialogue filled yeah. film isn't it so you have to listen to yeah. it and you have to be engrossed in it in order to I really you know I really like the thing is one of my thrillers are one of my favourite genres as well mm. because they've got that ability to keep you on your toes and on your toes yeah I think it's a solid film mm. uh, and yeah. I do think people should still talk 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 about it just in terms of of how like the anatomy of thrillers can be put together and how they yeah. can keep the audience and, it, and I think if you're, if you're an inspiring filmmaker or someone that wants to take inspiration from something, this is a film that if you're doing a, a very isolated and simple story, the structure, the writing, um, and, the, and the, I don't know, I think the directing of it is very unique. Um, I think you can take a lot from this and learn a lot yeah. from it. I was just telling Sean about a uh, John Travolta film called Swordfish that came out with Hugh Jackman a year earlier, and I think it's quite similar. And I'm quite fancy watching that again because yeah. I haven't seen it in years. Yeah. Just thrillers in general, I think uh, we should get into. Well, that. you haven't seen Prisoners still. Yeah. That's that's an incredible movie. Let's really know good. what the best thrillers are. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Let us know down in the comments, yeah. But let's wait. Wait. So, uh, Phone Booth. I really liked it. I thought it was a solid film. Um... It's a memorable one for the premise, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And Colin Farrell, not Colin Firth. <laughs> Colin Farrell, I think, uh, the emotion in his performance really helps the film. If you had somebody that was not as good, even by a little bit, I just don't think the film would be as good. Mm -hmm. Few people underutilised, um, but some good pacing, good editing, and some good thrills. I was engaged all the way through. I'm going to give it an 8 Whoa. out of 10. Whoa. Yeah. That's a no, no, That's yeah, there's a lot, actually. I'm going to dock it a few, actually. Let me just do that bit again. Okay, okay. Because um, of the before, the characters and that. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to give it as high a rating just because of the underutilised characters um, that I thought could have been in it a little bit, a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. But you know what? I think that's good because I was engaged throughout and I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Maybe mine will be higher than yours, Sean, because um, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, phone booth. Uh, I watched it when I was younger. I must have watched this. When did it come out? 2002. One. Two. Yeah, I must have watched this when, when like, I was in year seven or something. Um is that not looking up at me? No, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Um, did you get the nostalgia? I did get the nostalgia, and I, I was I was hoping that it would be just as good as it was when I when I first watched it, and it was like I I remember it so fondly, and nothing in this movie diminished my opinion of it. So, like you said, there are a few characters that are underutilized. Even like Kelly, his his wife is I don't think is in it enough, um, or the conflict with uh, Kelly and and the yeah uh, they just could have done with another phone call to either to each one of them may, perhaps, maybe or... I don't know um, but I feel that Farrell Colin Farrell is the star of this movie he brings um, he kind of takes this movie and this concept to the next level with his uh, his performance 
Um, I'm going to rate this a 7.8. Out of 10. Really? Wow. Yeah, I really nice. like this movie. Cool. So, thriller playlist. What would you have on your 10 top thrillers to watch? Literally list 10 for yourselves. Um, only 10. And we'll pick and choose. Yeah, I already know like two. Well, you I pick like. five and I'll pick yeah, five. I already know like two or three. I want to... um, but if you like this movie, you can also check out the full length reaction um on our patreon page you can watch along with us you will need your own copy of the movie as well um let us know what you rated it as well mm. do you agree with our rating 7.5 and 7.8 or do you think do you hate this movie for some reason and if if so give us the reasons why yeah uh, I, could, I could see that a few people might a few people might think that this is not as well i feel like idea. um a lot of the criticisms of this movie if there were any I think they're kind of diminished with the fact that it's such a short movie that it, like, it doesn't really take much time to, uh, to resolve itself. So, or, or for those yeah. criticisms to really take. It's a skill. Oh. I think it's a skill to have such a tight, short movie with, in the achieve what you do. Yeah, with. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good to take a break and then do something different. Yeah. We've got another um, weird uh, film coming up as well. Yeah, and the next, the next movie reaction won't be another James Bond. By the way, we are doing a James Bond uh, reaction to all the James Bond movies, but we are taking a little bit of a break. Uh, so this film and another film coming out. We've got Halloween around the corner. <laughs> We've been working hard. Well, we, yeah, we, we hope, we, hope, we, hope, we, hopefully. We hopefully, yeah, we, we, we're currently <laughs> working hard. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned. Patreon page is there, also there for early reactions so if you want to catch these reactions early go and visit that without further ado we bid you adieu see you later see you that for a minute after what don't know just, i uh, thought you made a pun but you didn't about what <laughs> <laughs>